Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire an electric motor from a washing machine, which is a universal motor. So without wasting my time, let's get started. Yeah guys, this is the washing machine motor, which I've already wired. So, this motor is having like almost six pins over here which are almost six pins or time having additional of which make it seven but what we are going to focus on are these two here this one these two brushes and the upper coil and the lower coil which we are going to focus on so if we trace this wire here this brush wire here you will find out that the, the first wire of the brush over there which is the first one the first wire here then if you trace this second wire of this second brush here which is this wire here which is the second one then if you trace the upper coil which is over here this upper coil when you trace it you find out that it's the black wire which is over here this black wire then lastly if we trace the blue coil which is over here you find out that is the last brown wire which is over here this wire here so guys these two wires you just have to ignore them because it serves as a, a communicator or something for the washing machine when it's working inside but for us we are just going to ignore them so we're not going to attach anything to it so guys as you can see let me disconnect these wires so we do them together So this is my wire which I already prepared. So this is the ground, this is uh, the power uh, cables which I will insert them inside the plug. Hope you can see them. Yeah. So what how we're going to do it since we are going to ignore the first two pins. I'm going to connect first and foremost I will connect my ground with the neutral wire like this then I'll connect one of these wires to the first brush which is over here like so a wire like this having two pins and both ends we have in the, just one wire with pins at the both ends. I think I'll get it. So I'll connect the second brush, which is the second pin. Like this. Then I will insert the second cable, which will go inside the plug to the square as so you can see how we set this inside the first square then I'll connect the second brush my second brush to the bottom coil which is over here so 
so guys thank you you have seen it this is how it is for safety purpose always attach your ground so that it won't avoid the electric shop safety first that's what I mean safety first so this is how it is then you check them again for clearance and all the wires are isolated from each other So now we are going to attach a piece of paper or something just for video people to see that uh, this is going to run or how it's going to be. So guys, as we are waiting for to see how we wire the motor, this is the moment too, we are going to power the motor to see how it turns. It's a universal motor. You can power with the electric and you can power with the battery here, which is 9 volts. Yes, I'm busy. Now, let's test again for the last time. for more videos. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.